G'day folks. I was cleaning up and I found a little box that I'd half forgotten about. Um, I got this from a friend who had a bit of a clean out at his place. One of his roommates was a computer technician um, and they threw a lot of stuff out. So yeah, somebody asked me how many hard drives I have and I'd say this is about half of them. I haven't even gone through this box yet since I got it. It was hidden under the part of the landing at home in the house. <coughs> but they don't all work. Unfortunately, this one's been had stuff written on it, so it's not going to... Well, it might work again, I don't know. Depends how he was testing it. I think pretty sure he said he tested or formatted and uh, scanned each of them. But that's an early hard drive, the old Connors. CP30104. This thing would only be like 80, 100 megabytes, maybe 120 megabytes. There's a Seagate here somewhere. That's a 631 megabyte Seagate. They're pretty rare now. There's various, that's a Western Digital Caviar, 80 gigabytes, that's okay. 1.3 gigabytes, 4.2. It's an old 40 gig and an 8.4. See, I haven't gone through this yet. This video is going to be long. <laughs> I just figure I'll do it while they're out and then I can stash them somewhere. The rest of the hard drives are in in the filing cap. <coughs> Sorry, in the filing cabinet out here. <coughs> um, in the my bedroom cupboards, uh, boxes everywhere. I'll have to do a full roundup. It's got stuff written on it, 120 gigabytes, WD-1200. I'll have to work out how to do a hard drive speaker. Or multiple hard drive speakers. That one's stuffed, 20.5 gig Fireball. 20 gig Maxter, it's an oldie. My first hard drive was one of these, the same series, but it was only one gig. And I paid 100 bucks for it at a swap meet. It's this one here, NEC. 1996, 1.34 gigabytes stuffed. Mm. Old school. I like the old hard drives. Oh, look at that. That's got a bloody MFM connector on it. That is not an original Seagate, is it? Or well, 3.5 format anyway. I, I used to have a nice collection of the big five and a quarter inch format, like 10 or 20 megabyte Seagate drives, but I gave all those away years ago. I should have kept them. Tandy. From a Tandy PC. It's a Miniscribe drive. Miniscribe Corporation, Longmount, Colorado. As shipped defect criteria. Head 1, 2. Wow. That's old. Serial number CA 631000 by Miniscribe Corporation. It's a model 8425. Maybe someone can tell me how old this is. It's got the old uh, stepping motor type interpreter head movement. There's a sensor there, optical sensor. Wow, that's old school. <laughs> I like old drives like those. I should dig out my collection of current drives. I've got some nice big five and a quarter inch MFMs. Not a lot of them, but I've got some. Same with um, it's a 40 gig. Same with the uh, old Quantum Bigfoots. I've got two or three big working Quantum Bigfoots, like the old three or four gig ones. 40 gig stuffed. He said there were a few dead ones in here, so I think that's the ones he's written stuffed on. 8.4 gig works. <laughs> a lot of these are pointlessly small. There's an old Maxter. It's got the plain cast alley casing top. It hasn't been powder coated. Put in 10th to 2008. Someone's been using an old drive. Windows 95 out of Coles. Oh, Coles new one. Colon. How big is it? Doesn't say. It's small anyway. Maybe a gig, maybe. Two gigs. 
various Western Digitals, There's another Seagate stuffed 13 gigabytes. It's an old 6 gigabyte Quantum Fireball. There's another Connor. Also got stuff written on it. Standalone. 903 cylinders, 8 heads, 48 sectors or tra slash tracks. 170 meg. There you go. It's 170 megabytes. Back in the day when that was huge. <laughs> and someone would have paid a small fortune for it. Oops, I'm running out of camera battery. Oh well. Most of these look like fairly new ones. Fujitsu, or WDs. Excelsior, that looks like a clone of a Hitachi or something. I'll run until we run out of battery, then I'll upload it. Can't be bothered editing. Medallist Seagate. It's an old one. Oh, no, maybe not. It's got the sea shield on it. There's an old one. The old WD caviars. 1.2 gig. Quantums. Another old Maxter. Barracuda 80A3, 10 gig. If they don't have stuff written on them, I'm guessing they're still like serviceable or at least recoverable. But the problem is none of these would have been properly. Uh, I don't think any of these would have been properly formatted. So God knows what data's on them. It's a security issue. Mind you, the data that's on most of these will be so old it's useless. I just don't like selling or giving out old hard drives very much. But, yeah, I guess if the, if the hard drive's that old, the data on it is completely useless to people. It doesn't really matter. But if the drive's only a couple of years old and it's still got somebody's personal stuff on it, it's still relevant. So, drives like these, I don't really care. I mean, I don't have time to go around mailing out hard drives to everyone. I know I'm going to get a million requests with certain drives. But, A, they're heavy. B, I just don't have the time at the moment. Eventually, I'll... I'll try and liquidate some of it, apart from scrapping them. 